Hey viewers, my name is Lachlan and today we're doing a quick unboxing of the Z170A Gaming M5 motherboard from MSI. Now this is the Z170 chipset and LGA1151 socket. Now this motherboard is one of the most recent ones for the new Skylake processors and as you can see when it's opened up here it looks really gorgeous. It features a wing shaped VRM cooler as you can see just above the socket there and looks fantastic. But before we get into the board I quickly want to take a nice look at what is under the hood and some of the other bits that are provided with this motherboard. So as you can see just under here we have plenty of lots of bits and pieces. To start off with we have SATA cable labels for those who have tons of drives and tend to forget which ones are which or what goes where which is very useful we have a disk filled with intel drivers utilities and everything that you will need to start up the motherboard presuming you still use a disk drive and something i thought was a really nice touch a thank you note from msi where you can register their products and gain some kind of points which is really awesome to see a quick installation guide for those of you who don't know how to install the stock intel cooler which i thought was quite cool and of course the main guide which is really good looking and has lots of detail and was very much well thought out and well thought through. It was a good guide to read through and uh, for anybody setting up a motherboard you desperately need to read through that thing to make sure everything goes in the right place. We have the IO shield at the back which has the red and black theme carried over from the motherboard which has a really nice finish to it as well. I, I really enjoyed placing this in the back of a case. It was very much good to look at a black case with the black and red trim. We have a door hanger, which I thought was a nice little quirky touch. And of course, we have tons of SATA cables as well and the SLI bridge. Now, these SATA cables come in two L shapes and two normal flat shaped ones as well, which is very useful for those of you connecting drives in all different kinds of ports in different places within your PC. Next up, I want to show you the layout of the board and also highlight some key features. But of course, if you want a full rundown of those, you can read the review, which is available in the description below. Or should you be coming from the review, make sure you read all of that content too. And there's plenty of features that MSI have included on this board, which is why you can see on our website it has achieved a gold award from Bago Games. So let's start rolling through them. On the board, there are five four pin fan headers, two CPU fan headers, and of course, three system fan headers. The eight pin power connector is available in the top left corner and the 24 pin is available towards the bottom right of the board. Now highlighted on the board are some of the numerous features which are available with this motherboard. Now you can see the Audio Boost 3 chip which is available in the bottom left corner and just to the left of that is a separate PCB. Now this isolated PCB houses all of the audio circuitry and they've done this to try and remove as much interference as they can to provide a better overall audio experience. Just above that we have the killer LAN chip and below the killer LAN chip is the Steel Armor PCI Express port. Now this Steel Armor is really important, I saw some of it being revealed earlier this year but essentially what this does is prevents the PCIe Express port from being damaged. Now eventually cards are going to get to the point where they're so heavy and really bulky that they may actually damage some of the plastic PCIe ports that we're seeing today and MSI have found a way around this by reinforcing it with this steel armor and theoretically speaking as well it should prevent most if not some GPU sag from occurring. Now, if you look to the top right of that, near the RAM DDR4 slots, we have DDR4 Boost. Now, this again is isolated circuitry, and MSI have isolated their RAM in order to make sure that there is no signal interference whatsoever to get the maximum speeds, which again is a really nice bit of ingenuity to try and make sure that this board performs to its absolute maximum. And in the corner as well, there is indeed a debug which is available and it's a debug LED which will also display your temperatures should you allow it to do so. Now if you want a full rundown of every single available feature which you can see on this motherboard right now, make sure you check out that review in the description below. As always, it's been me Lachlan from Bago Games, thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon with another unboxing video.